everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Chris you've reached Chris loves Lux and today is part two of our Gucci foundation journey um, yesterday I posted a video with just my first impression and my review uh, reviewing two shades with neither one where it's my exact match so today we're gonna do something a little different um, as we work through our wear test today so it's all about the wear test it's all about the wear test testing the primer out everything so with all that said, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Head over to IG. Follow me at Chris Loves Lux. Now let's just get into this wear test. And I'll see you at the end. All right, everybody. We back for round number two. Battle of the Gucci Foundation. Right? Or I should say battle with the Gucci Foundation. Um, in yesterday's video, you saw that I had two distinctly different shades um, they're the one that's in the middle of these two shades on the website has an olive undertone, which I'm not even going to attempt to try. So what we're going to do today at first, yesterday I ended up using 360W and I wore it outside. And when I got outside and actually when not even outside, when I got in my living room under regular natural bulbs and not the studio light, it was yellow. It was still yellow despite the um, dark powder I put on it and all that other stuff. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to have to mix them. I'm going to use the 380N as my, my regular base. And then I'm going to put a drop of the um, 360W in. And I'm going to mix it. So I have my little mixing tray. I'm going to use it right here. Actually, before I do that, let me prime. So... Since we're doing a wear test, I'm going to use two primers. I'm going to use the Gucci primer on my dominant side, my dominant, with my dominant uh, side, I'm a left, I'm a righty. And then on the left side, I'm going to use my normal Milk Hydra Grip. That's my ride or die, right? Just so I can see if they wear the same, different, etc. Because remember, this is, this is $57, right? So let me compare the primer as well. So I'm going to go in, just literally, on this side of my face. Y'all like how I just went down this side. Okay. We're not going to. We're going to put this here. This side is where the, I just put the primer. This side has no primer. I don't have large pores like that. I'm looking closer in my mirror. Let me actually pick this one up. I don't have large pores, you know, like severely large pores, or anything like that. So to say that there's a major difference, mm, I don't know about that. Oh, lovely. I took the thing off and now I didn't know which top went with what. Okay. So now I'm going to get a little bit of my Milk Hydra Grip. Y'all know how I feel about this baby here. And we're going to put it on this side of my face. There's nothing on here though okay you don't see any um real difference in how the primers lay down or how the primers make my face look no i don't see any difference right um i smell a difference though because that gucci primer with no coffee is going all the way up my nose it was waking me up without the coffee i'm gonna tell y'all that for real okay all right so while that's drying down let's let's get into it so i'm going to do actually i'm gonna do a pump and a half of the 380n just wipe that off Get messy then I am going to 
start off with a half a pump of the 360W. So you see that there? It's my spatula and I'm gonna mix it. That yellow was dominant, y'all. Y'all see that? That yellow was dominant. That yellow is seriously dominant color. It came out like this. The coverage is sick though, look at that. That little bit. We're gonna see how this works. I don't think, I definitely don't need any more of either one because the coverage is so. So strong. All right, let's, let's get this out. I'm gonna go in with my flat kabuki again. Nope, it's still dark. We're gonna shear this out. Still a little, just a little dark. I feel like a chemist in the lab. Yep, there you go. Let's see. It's still a little too dark, y'all. That 380N is awfully strong. But so is that yellow. What I did was I squirted out just a little of the 360W to see if I can tone tone it down because I'm I wanted to build today right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build I think we good I think that's it So I'm gonna have to actually use a little less 380N. I used a pump and a half. Next time I use one pump of each. The, th the 360 yellow is so dark. I didn't blend that. The 380N is dark. This is a little better. Still see the yellow, still see the red, but it's all good because I think this is the best we're gonna get. It's just to mix the two shades. It's better than using them separately. 
separately. They just weren't working. That's a nice, it built up nicely. It did, it built up nicely. Just gonna bring that down a little bit. I wonder how it's gonna look in natural light. to leave it like this and let's pull out some concealer and because my eyes look in a hot mess today I am going to use my new Surat concealer yeah my eyes really look and I'm going to go in with number four because I need it today I'm actually going to go in with this shade right here take a little out I'm actually gonna put it in the back of my hand and look for my concealer brush which has disappeared here it is This is my Esom 23, uh, Esom T43 brush came from the Kinky Sweat Esom collab. I have some serious brightening that needs to go on under here, y'all. Seriously. Yeah, we gonna brighten that right on up. This Sarah Concealer is the truth. Okay, I'm gonna do this part off camera because this is not about the concealer or the rest of the face. So I'll be all right, everybody. I'm back. Here is the final look as we start our um, wear test. It actually turned out really well. I mean, mixing the shades didn't do bad at all. Um, once it dried down, it actually blended in a lot better. Not an exact match, but it's okay. I did have to work my under eye out. I had to put a lot of concealer because y'all, my eyes was looking beat, right? So I do have a ton of concealer on and um, I used a very light concealer. Um, so I had to go in with the, my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, I mean bronzer, powder underneath. But here we are, final look. Now we are gonna begin the wear test, right? I put all the, in the description box, my eyeshadow and everything. Um, the time is 10 11. Um, so we're gonna begin. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get 10 hours out of it, which would make it make it what around eight o'clock-ish. Um, so we'll see. And I'll be checking in throughout. See you soon. Hi everybody. I am actually in front of the, the uh, window in my closet. Um see closet okay sorry it's dirty um so the only light that i'm using is the natural light coming in from the window so we can see exactly what the foundation looks like the time it's, it's two o'clock now so um it's almost four hours it's like three hours and 45 minutes something like that three hours and 50 minutes since i actually started the the um wear test and i'm going to come closer and as you can see, your girl is shiny, but that's to be expected because I'm always shiny. Um, haven't been outside, haven't used the mask. All I've been doing is working. We can take a look. I'm gonna take my glasses off. 
um, I went ham with the <laughs> with the concealer as you could tell um, but anyway so if you're looking um there's no breaking up but it's just oil production right um some of this is highlighter <laughs> but you know you, you see around here especially here i have oil production so i do have a tissue here i am going to blot it's blot that's better you see There we go. Blot here. Okay. That looks a little better. Let's see. I didn't powder my whole face, which is probably another reason. Even though this is self setting I probably, because I am so oily, will still have to use a setting powder. But... There's no breakage around the nose or anything yet. And it still looks pretty good. Now, this shade, mixing, it's better, but not perfect. I can deal with it. Um, yeah, I really went ham with lightening up my under eye, but that's okay. Um, it's a little distracting for me. So let me know what you think. Um, this was a long check-in. The rest of them won't be so long. But this is the natural light. This is the natural look, natural light. What are you guys thinking? I need some sleep. Okay. All right, y'all. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, everybody. I'm back. Final check-in and final uh, final thoughts. The time is... Wait. Time is 8.12. We started this at like 10, 10, 11, I think it was. Uh, this is what we... I'm going to take my glasses off. This is what we looking like. Now, can we talk about this shade? It doesn't match. Even with the mixing, and I probably need to play with the mixing more. But as you can probably tell from my first, my, my previous check-in, the shade is, is off, right? It looked like I self-tanned, right? So I really think that this, this 380, I'm not even, if I did mix them, the 380 just needs to be dropped in there. So instead of starting with 380 like I did this morning, I need to start with the three the 360W and then add a drop of 380. Something I have to play with it. Um, Gucci does not accept returns. I know some one of you put it in the comments. I did know that. So I, you know, just so everybody else, if you purchase from Gucci already, you can't return it unless uh, if you open it, right? And it came wrapped in this plastic, so. You have to keep it in the plastic and return it in order for them to take it back. I get it. Not just because it's foundation, but because of the times that we're in, you know, they're not willing to accept returns. So, you know, and I'm fine with that because, you know, I also do makeup at times on other people, right? Not as much right now, but I will, you know, next next year, I'm sure I will have an opportunity to, to use this on somebody else. Now, I, I will attempt to keep trying to mix it i probably won't put that much more energy in it for the mere fact that i have a lot of other foundations that i don't have to put that kind of work in to be quite honest so for me that's where i'm at with the shade will i tr sample another shade or will i go and just look at what 370 oh because that's the only difference between these two there's an olive color other than that, there is no difference in between the shades, right? There's not like five other colors in between these two. So I might go just look at it, but I highly doubt that I purchase it. Um, so let's look at the actual, my actual skin. So let me come in. You can see I'm shiny. I'm an oily girl, right? It did not have claims of, of, keeping you matte all day that way it said natural it's a natural finish um i know it said that it was like a soft matte as far as the the primer was concerned but it also said luminous so you know being both i, I don't know 
Um, it's not terrible for 10 hours. Honestly, there's not a foundation out there that's that I'm not, my oils won't break through. The question is to what level do they break through? Is it moving? You know, that type of thing. So I'd have to come a little closer. No. There was no movement in the foundation, right? Yes, my oils are there. So let me just bring it a little closer. So, yes, I'm oily. But the foundation is still there. And I've eaten salad for, for lunch. I've eaten, uh, what did I have? I forgot what I even had for dinner. Something light for dinner. But either way, I've eaten. Um, and this is where we are. My skin still looks amazing, right? Um, other than the, the shininess, I, I really think that it's, it's, a, it's a good foundation. The shade is just crap for me. For me specifically if i take my brush and go into my charlotte tilbury i could have blotted it first but i'm not and i just just gonna go like this there you go that's all i would have to do so i take a compact with me everywhere i go for blotting purposes Right, and just for me to powder to set down my makeup, 10 hours. This can go longer. I can tell. This foundation, look at that. I'm good to go. I can keep it moving. So I recommend the foundation for anyone that can locate a shade. If you can get properly shade matched, even if you're just slightly different, this is a little more than slightly for me. But if you if you can do it, I do like the finish of the foundation, right? Let me look at that. I still look like I can go another few hours, right? I'm not, but I could. And so if you're trying to figure out whether or not it's worth it, I think it's worth it as long as you can find your shade. Now, let's talk about this baby. Do I think this is worth it? This was on this side. My Milk Hydro Grip was on this side. And if I come closer. I don't see a big difference. This is $57. The Milk Hydro Grip is $30. I don't think you need this. I don't think this is a necessary purchase. Um, it said it was going to blur and do this and do that. I didn't see any of that happen. I, I think. I, and especially because of the fragrance in it and everything else. This was a nice to have, not a need to have. I would not run out and get that. So you don't have, you don't need the primer. Okay. Um, that's, that's, that's my story. That's my feeling. I'm sticking to it. I don't know. How, you know how many people I may piss off about it. You know, I just don't think the primer is worth $57 because it didn't do anything for me. It didn't, you know, my regular milk hydro grip worked just as fine as this, as this side did. So that's. That's my story. That's my that's my thoughts. And let me know down in the comments what you're thinking. Are you going to get the foundation? Or are you just going to wait until it hits Sephora? It's only a week from now, right? And then see if you can find a shade match. Um, what what are you, what are your plans? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm going to keep trying it maybe once more. You know, not this week though, but I'll probably try it again next week and. I'll let you know if, if I change my mind, right? And in, in a in a in maybe my next video sometime. I don't know. But anyway, listen, I'm done rambling. Let me know what you're thinking. Follow me on Instagram at Chris Loves Lux. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And the most important thing is to stay safe, stay healthy stay tuned and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye guys i'm gonna go wash this off now because I'm, I'm over it i'm over it i'm gonna wash it off